Hello, love. Welcome home to Eden. This is Eve Kristoff, your love life muse. Stick with me for the hottest news and subscribe to this channel to get somewhere new. You've entered Eden, Eve's Eden. Welcome home, where our beautiful feminine sexuality is sacred, holy, and celebrated and allowed to absolutely shine. <laughs> so I got in trouble this week um, at my job because I wore shorts that were four inches below my butt <laughs> and heels and I covered up the rest of me, you know. Um, and my boss was like, that was so sexy, you know, the whole, the whole company noticed and uh, what were you thinking <laughs> he said you can't basically he said you cannot dress sexy that is inappropriate <laughs> so the job the clothes they've given us to wear are guys clothes are these big huge um these shirts that you know on guys they're kind of tight and and they show off a guy's frame they're actually kind of good looking on the guys uh but on us women i mean we look so bad we look like smurfs <laughs> as a friend of mine said <laughs> we look really ugly <laughs> and and it's depressing to spend your whole life working in a job where every day eight hours a day you look terrible and you can't feel your sexuality or your femininity in any way so the girls at the office we've all been rebelling in various little ways with the shoes we wear or the lace over the horrible ugly trash bag they make us wear <laughs> you know <clears throat> But what I realized, when I really thought about it, I thought, okay, so the guys are allowed to parade their power in their power suits and their sport shirts and their watches and their ties, and this all shows their status and their power, right? But for women, our power is our sexuality. It is. A, a woman who has power in the room is owning her sexuality. Whether she's dressed in, in overalls or a sexy outfit, it doesn't matter. She's owning her sexuality. But especially, though, if she's showing it through her dress and allowing her feminine figure to show um, and accentuating her powerful sexuality, her power, right? So if you want to equalize things, you'd have to say to the men, no symbols of power, no more watches, no more jackets that are fitted, no more suits, and no more ties. Now we're equal. We can all wear trash bags. Okay? Now we're equal. But to say to the women that we can't show our power, we can't wield our power, makes us unempowered. So think about just not too long ago, 50 years ago or so, women had to wear pantyhose and heels and um, pointy bras and <laughs> fitted outfits or else they couldn't be on the job site. They had to. And that was another form of oppression. They had to be sexualized. But now, through all the women's liberation, what's happened is the men have found another way to take away our power. And that is to call us inappropriate if we show our sexuality, if we dress in ways that are feminine. Okay, so get it through your head, girlfriend. They're, they've got it rigged. And guys, get it through your heads. You are not that insecure. You are not that out of control. You can handle women looking sexy around you and still focus on your work. Okay, you used to. Well, maybe you always were screwing with the, the, the girls on your jobs. So I don't know. <laughs> but you're going to have to allow for real radical femism, as I call it, to come into the planet. And that is when women can both be respected and treated like human beings and be sexual, sexy, and um, femininely powerful on our own terms without you hogging all the power. So if you want to wield power and you're not going to let us women dress sexy, you're greedy. You're just freaking greedy. <laughs> now, my boss was like, that's gonna, that's inappropriate. So I was like, okay, okay. So, you know, um, but really, if you think about how it's affecting the job for women to look beautiful and a little bit sexy, I mean, we're not talking trashy, like with, with booty cracks showing and a whole bosoms falling out of bras and stuff like that. We're talking about stylishly, uh, sexually, sensually, um, celebrating as we have self-respect in our dress. Okay, so guys, figure, figure out how to 
how, how to understand that this is a, this is a, it's a criminal offense <laughs> to stop a woman from being beautiful. <laughs> I mean, she uplifts everyone. She does. She Okay, the guys' libidos are going to lift up. They're going to work harder. It's not going to dis be a disservice to the, to the job. What, on the job um, when you're trying to sell stuff? Even people you're selling to. I'm a high flyer in my company. Maybe it's partly because I allow my sexuality and, and my femininity to be part of everything that I do, and maybe people like that. Maybe they need that. Maybe it's actually <laughs> part of the balance of all of creation. So women, men, think about it more carefully, okay? If you're a boss and you're trying to neuter the women around you to make them non-sexual, that is not empowerment. That That is not supporting their power, okay? You've got to do something in between, okay? We don't want to be lewd, we don't want to be, um, what's it called? Um, uh, um, skanky? <laughs> no skankies. <laughs> but we do want to have the dance of the masculine feminine polarity going on, okay? 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 <laughs> so what could I do though? If I'm going to stay in this job, I have to be, I look, have to look like a, tra a little smurf with no femininity uh, all day, every day. And why would a job be worth it to me to live my life like that? How long could I even make it without having my feminine power be part of my everyday experience? So what I did, and this is what women often do when they're um, when they hit the glass ceiling, which actually I did at this team. It was interesting how it happened. Um, they said I was doing too well. They said I, that nobody could really produce my results because I was too creative. How I was, you know, being a high flyer. They didn't believe that I could pass on what I had to other people and and help them be as successful as I was. I could have, of course, I could have. It just would have been a creative different way than the way the men see and what the men do and that's the thing if the men when the men are running everything and, and here's it's my boss right I have to now dress how he says because my 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 security is threatened right and this is what happens they either say to you you have to dress sexual or you can't be sexual either way trying to rob power trying to steal what he's upset because if the woman is sexy in the room she's getting more attention than him <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> but come on, mellow it out, mellow it out, all right? All along the way, all along the way, all of us need this. We need our the dance of the masculine feminine. We need it. It's nourishment. It's food. It is not such a terrifying thing to share power, okay? Either of you are going to share it, take off your tie, take off your suit, take off your watch. You want to be a stupid little ugly smurf? You really think that's going to help everybody? Okay, let's do it together. <laughs> much love, darling. I have so much more to say on this, and I keep forgetting. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, love life, darling.